What's up guys, Kevin over at Legros coming back at you with today's haul. Uh, we do have two packages here. Sorry about the late uploads here. Uh, I was sick for a little bit, so uh, I am better now, luckily. So uh, gonna get back right into it. We have a whole bunch of stuff coming in. Uh, so there should be several videos, maybe three or so this upcoming week. So hopefully that's what I'm shooting for. So uh, we have two packages. This is, I believe, gonna be sets and kind of some figs. And then this is just gonna be figs themselves. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do the sets first just to get them out of the way. This was the same seller that I actually purchased some other stuff from. Uh, you guys will know from my previous videos that I've gotten before. I am trying to get the entire Aquanauts uh, collection. So this actually is a pretty unique set. And that it was the first and only that I believe, I'm not sure, you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe it's the only one that had a box like this where the box is actually completely open. And there was like this display right here, uh, but you could see like the whole set, which is really, really weird. There was some other sets in here. I got another one of these, which I had already gotten in the other video, uh, but that one um, didn't have instructions. So, or actually no, the other one had instructions. So I got another one of those sets. Uh, there was also some parts and pieces as well. Uh, and then some minifigures. I believe these are the Aqua Zone minifigures, uh, but the same theme kind of, so I'll probably put them in that display as well. Um, so a lot of cool, cool pieces and parts and stuff like that. Uh, we did get another of the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but the sub. Looks like it's missing maybe some of its arm pieces, but we'll have to look into that. Um, but I did get another one of the subs as well. Um, these were pretty cheap, and I just wanted as many of these yellow and blue parts as I could get. Because uh, I'm hoping to build a pretty big scene for the Aquanauts there. So another one of those subs, which is really cool. And then this is the set that actually is in here. It doesn't look like this one had instructions, unfortunately. Uh, but this is the Sea Claw. Uh, sea Claw 7, there it is. Uh, so this is the one that actually came in this box. I don't know if this was like an aquascape you were supposed to do. I think that's kind of like the plan. That's kind of like how it was supposed to go. Uh, is that you were supposed to like lay this out and it kind of works as a, uh, <laughs> as like a, a scene <laughs> or something like that. Um, not 100% sure what their what their meaning behind that was because I've, I've never seen that before. Um, but it's a really cool box, so never gotten that before. Uh, it is actually really heavy. I wonder if this, I think this thing might just come out and be like an aquascape is my guess. I don't know, they don't have any, uh, yeah, they don't have any like instructions of what to do for it. So I'll have to take a look at that. I don't necessarily want to tear up the box if I don't have to, but that's pretty cool. Something that's a blast from the past. Obviously, just like the other ones where you have the flap, um, a really good anti-theft measure right there. Uh, Cause no one's gonna be able to steal that just from that. So three Aqua Zone, or sorry, Aquanauts sets, one with instructions, which is really cool. Excited to build those. I will do a video of uh, all the sets once they're complete as well. Uh, and then this one, I found this was some genius packaging. I've ordered from this guy several times, uh, but this was some pretty genius packaging. He actually just uh, converted a cheese nips box <laughs> inside out and shipped it in the mail. So for anybody who's looking on saving on postage, there you go, that's all it takes. So this one was going to be a ton of Star Wars things. I think there was like 120. I want to say. There's some really cool ones in here though, so definitely stay tuned and see what's going on. Not just the, the normal ones. It looks like the normal right from the from the get-go, uh, but there are some really cool ones in here. Uh, let's try to pick and choose those ones out. Obviously we have Vader in here. That's always a good fig. His cape's in really good condition too. Uh, we do have the Emperor. It's a good fig as well. We do have a 501st Trooper. Can't get enough of those, so very happy about getting him. This is actually a Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, which is kind of cool. One you don't see very often. Uh, we do have Jango Fett. They're all correct head too. That's great. Uh, some of the unique ones. We have another Vader, same version. I don't see his helmet. Hopefully his helmet's in here. I have a couple of Vader helmets if I don't have it though. Uh, we do have an old Obi-Wan. I can't remember if the uh, version with pupils or without is more valuable. I think the width is more valuable, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll have to take a look. Uh, this one is really cool. We do have the Endor, or sorry, not Endor, Dagobah Luke from that set. So that's really, really good figure. Uh, his head is obviously not the right head, so I'll replace that with the correct version. I don't think his legs are right either, but uh, got the torso, which is all that matters there. I think he's actually supposed to have 
yellow arms <laughs> as well. So somebody found some sand green arms and put them on here, uh, which is why he looks a little bit different. But I did see the torso in there, so I was like, nope, I know what that is. So that's kind of cool. Looks like his hand just fell off. Recreation of the Star Wars movie. Wrong hand, though. Um, so there is one other one I did see in the lot that I want to look at. Not that one. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, so here we do have a Cloud City figure. This is the Cloud City Leia. She's actually in pretty good shape too, which is really unexpected. Usually when I find Cloud City figs in a set, I'm assuming they're broken or something like that uh, for them to put into a bulk lot. But this was a bulk lot that had here in, her in here. So uh, that is super cool. You don't see Cloud City figures very often. So that is a really good find right there. Uh, I'm really excited about getting her. Uh, what else do we have? We have a Darth Maul, another Darth Maul. We got another Vader. This is the old style Vader. Uh, Tatooine Luke. Got a couple Luke Skywalker and random uh, Rebel pilots there. Another Bomb Squad. Whole bunch of clones. This guy's a kind of a newer fig. I think that's like an assassin or something like that. I don't remember what they call those. Uh, we do have the white hair Yoda. His hair is actually in really tremendous shape as well, which is really un like really uh, hard to find. Usually those little pegs wear off. And a whole bunch of clones here. We do have three Chewies. We have the uh, kind of switched bodies here, it looks like, but we have the reddish brown and then the old, old brown. There's been a lot of Chewies. People think that they're all the same, but uh, they're not. We do have the Yoda that went with that Dagobah set as well, so that's a good find. Kind of a figure you don't usually find. We do have Sebulba here. Not as particularly valuable figure, but uh, kind of a cool figure nonetheless. He's got those different different arm casts that you don't see on anything else. I don't know what you'd put on that. Maybe an elephant or something. <laughs> I have no idea. We do have another version of Leia. That is not her face. I wonder whose face that is. I have no idea whose face that is. She's all cracked up too, so that's probably a... Hmm. Comment below if you know whose face that is. I don't know. And then, of course, some just regular troopers. Uh, we do have Leia's body here as well, the Endor version of Leia. Looks like that's a little chewed up, though. So really, all I was looking for is those really good figs that were in the, were in the lot. The rest is just kind of meh. Uh, it's mostly just troops and, and stuff like that. So we do have snow troopers. Um, I don't know what, I don't know who that is either. Sometimes, whoop, focus, come up. There we go. She's got one head. That looks maybe like a, one of the hobbits or something, is my guess. Or uh, dwarves, I mean, from the Hobbit movie. I have no idea. But a whole bunch of snow troopers, uh, battle droids, Mandalorians, there's Thysen. Don't like that figure. Uh, we do have a Jedi Knight Luke again. Trying to see if there's anything else. Got a Tuscan Raider. Uh, oh, there's another Chewie. Four Chewies. Another old Obi Wan. There's Obi Wan as well. He's really messed up his face. Yeah. Looks like that's about it. Just droids and troops is the rest of them, which are my favorite. But obviously, I know they're a little bit boring to go over the same troops over and over again on the. Uh, the videos here so I'll spare you on that <laughs> so uh, definitely a good haul today um, like I said there's a ton of stuff coming in the mail I was really really busy on uh, Easter Sunday I believe that was uh, with a whole bunch of auctions that I won there was one I was really really excited about uh, unfortunately it ended up turning out to be fake uh, I thought that I had won a Mr. Gold for $125 um, which I bought some other Legos from this person at the same day and they were all legitimate and real. So, uh, they were, the person was super confident that it was real, but you definitely have to be careful, especially if you're looking at valuable figures, you have to really probe. So after I purchased it, obviously to get it off the market, just in case it was real, um, I did probe to see if it was going to be real. I had him take pictures and like check for the marks and all that kind of stuff. And unfortunately, uh, that one, which he had thought was real was purchased from eBay, you know, several years ago. Uh, when Mr. Gold first came out and people were already doing counterfeits and stuff like that. So be very, very careful. Counterfeits are becoming more and more of a problem on today's market. Uh, people just custom printing even just Legos designs. Uh, just don't even, not even caring about legality of it or anything like that. And then obviously knock off some China and those places and whatnot. So be very careful with that, especially if you have a super valuable figure 
uh, that you're looking to. So that's really unfortunate, but I did get a whole bunch of other figs from him for a great price. Um, so what are you going to do about that? I had to take the chance because <laughs> Mr. Gold, I think I've seen some trading for like $2,500 $2,000 right now. So if you have one of those, definitely keep it in the package and uh, keep it close for sure. So uh, if you guys uh, go ahead and comment below what your favorite fig of today's haul was. I think mine's this one, even though it's kind of messed up. Uh, this one or Cloud City, but obviously I kind of really like the, the Dagobah Luke, uh, the old school one with that green, kind of a cool, neat coloring scheme there. So comment below what your favorite fig was today, and then uh, I will catch you guys on the next one.